Rev up your engines! Today, I'm going to talk about five used pickup trucks that you should never buy. One of the main reasons I started making these videos is to help people up because I'm like everybody else. I hate buying something that is just junk. So I want to warn people not to buy them in the first place. Now the first used pickup never to buy is the Dodge Ram Daytona. If you've ever seen one, they had a permanent spoiler on the back. Racing stripes. They're a race pickup truck. They're not a working truck. With that stupid spoiler that was permanently on there, uh, you can't get much in that bed. It blocks it all. I mean, talk about all show and no go. Now, they were fast. Good for drag racing. But that's not what a pickup truck is really for. It's supposed to be for work. Now that Hemi V8, sure it's powerful, but like the rest of Dodge products, the remaining parts of the vehicle weren't that well made. Problems with ball joints breaking, electronic failures, air conditioning failures. I had a customer who bought two Dodge pickups, a regular Ram and the Daytona. He said, oh, Scotty, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, Dodge makes good trucks. Look, they've been making them a while. I bought two of them. So about a year and a half later, I said to the guy, how are those Dodges working out for you? <laughs> and he gave me a list of the things that were breaking down on him. And he said, I should have listened to you. But, you know, I like the style and the speed. Yeah, well, speed is great when it works, but when it doesn't, get out your walking shoes. <laughs> Now the next used truck not to buy is the Hummer H2. Unlike the H1 that was a relatively solidly built machine, the H2 was just a cheap copy of that vehicle. I guess they wanted to sell more so they decided to make stuff cheaper. Uh, it didn't know, was it a pickup truck? An SUV, it was kind of in no man's land. The bed on them was so small, it was pretty much useless. They have all kinds of failure rates for the machines themselves. They just were not dependable machines. My customers, they had electronic problems up the wazoo like many GM vehicles had. They just weren't dependable. Sometimes they wouldn't start. The air conditioning systems would break on them. They had all kinds of problems. And of course now, they haven't made Hummers for quite some time. Now if you want some crazy quasi-military vehicle, hey, you can get used ones pretty cheap if you want a toy, you know. But if you want a serious pickup truck to do work and haul stuff in, <laughs> don't buy an H2. The next Next pickup truck not to buy used is the Honda Ridgeline. Honda, hey, they started out as a motorcycle company, then they made little bitty cars, then they made them better and better and better and better. But let's face it, they were never a truck company. Now I do have to say, the newer Honda pickup trucks, 2018 and newer, they seem to be better built than the earlier ones are, but hey, in this video, I'm talking about used pickup trucks not to buy. So you don't want to buy one of these Honda pickups, really. I've seen Ridgeline engines blow up for a pickup truck. They're really not that good at hauling things. They just don't have the power, especially here in the United States. Most people get automatic transmissions. And they're weak automatic transmissions. This is just the way that it goes with Honda products. There are so many other pickups out there, there'd be no reason to buy the Honda. It just wouldn't make any sense. They don't have that great a track record. They're not really a full-size pickup truck. They're kind of in between. I've had a few customers with them, and let me tell you, none of them were really satisfied with them. Now the next pickup not to buy used is the Chevy SSR. Man, that was a miserable failure from the get-go. You didn't know if it was a hardtop, a convertible, a pickup truck. Just what exactly were they going for when they made that thing? To make it fit the style and design they had, it had a very narrow bed. So you couldn't really put much in it. It was billed at the world's first convertible pickup truck. But as history bears out, it was really the world's only convertible pickup truck. <laughs> they didn't make them for all that long. They were super expensive. They were also extremely heavy. They were heavier than a Dodge Ram pickup, but they really didn't haul all that much. It's pretty much some crazy idea GM had. Chevy made enough so just about every dealer could have one on a showroom floor. So I guess it was a show truck, 
Well, it should have stayed as a concept show truck and actually not built any at all, like the ones in those car shows. I should have just had them as a, oh, this could be the future of trucks thing, and never actually go out and build any. But really, if you want a truck to drive around, buy, use, and haul stuff with, stay away from the SSR. Now, the last used pickup not to buy is the Mercedes x-class pickup trucks yes people mercedes does make a pickup truck and luckily for us americans it's not sold here in the united states so you don't have to worry about buying one they don't sell them here but they do in europe i guess they're going for snob pickup trucks in europe i mean they were never that big about pickup trucks anyways when i was in england you rarely saw a pickup truck they were more into panel van if you could call making a pickup truck by Mercedes and actual production. Mercedes has teamed up with Nissan in making these pickup trucks. They have Nissan engines and they have Nissan automatic transmissions. And as I've talked about before, those Jatco automatic transmissions, they're amongst the worst automatic transmissions in the world. So people are buying these Mercedes X-Class pickup trucks. Hey, they're not really even getting a Mercedes. It's Nissan technology and they start at like $50,000. You know, if you want to buy a Nissan, go out and buy a Nissan. I'm not a big fan of them, but hey, at least don't pay a bunch more just because it's got a Mercedes star emblem in the front. These days, it seems that everyone is trying to get into everyone else's market so they can have all the corners filled in, but really, a Mercedes-Benz pickup truck, just a disguised Nissan, it's a really stupid idea to waste your money on something like that. It's knob appeal pickup trucks, that's kind of counterintuitive, you know? And I, you know, five pickup trucks that you should never buy used. And believe me, if you stay away from them, you'll value my advice the next time you look at your bank account. Because there's plenty of good pickups out there. Just stay away from these five. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.